Hello everyone and welcome back to another cricket video on the True Footy YouTube channel as we get closer and closer to the Big Bash League kicking off for season 13. So as you know, I'm going to be doing increased uh, cricket content on the channel over summer to keep things ticking over and uh, that means covering the Big Bash League in as much depth as possible, be doing live streams and stuff like that and you would have seen as well. I've done a video updating you all on the squads that uh, are going to be taking part in the BBL 13 with some team news. But a day later, uh, there's already some more team news related to some of the stuff I talked about yesterday. So before I get into it, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. So yesterday, I obviously uh, provided an update on what the squads were for going into the new tournament. And uh, since then, there's already been some changes. So the top two picks from the BBL draft in Rashid Khan and uh, Harry Brooks have both pulled out of the tournament and have now been subsequently replaced. So as I explained yesterday, Rashid Khan has uh, pulled out because of a back injury, which I believe requires surgery. So he's not going to be available for the entire tournament. And he has been replaced by English fast bowler David Payne, who has previously played for the Perth Scorchers and was particularly at the back end of last year's tournament, quite an important piece of the puzzle that saw them win the tournament overall. He played uh, six games and he took 10 wickets. He had a man of the match performance against the Adelaide Strikers where he took three for 20. He also took three for 33 in the qualifier against the Sydney Six and dismissed Steve Smith in that game. So he joins the Strikers across from Perth, which means that the Strikers, I believe, now have three English players on the list in Jamie Overton and Adam Hose. So it's also an interesting decision here where they've decided not to replace for like for like. They haven't gone for a spinner. They've gone with a quick player. And he joins a little small cohort there, I think, of pretty solid BBL fast bowlers in Wes Agar, Henry Thornton, Brendan Doggett, and of course, Jamie Overton, like I said. So the decision not to pick another uh, spin bowler means that Cameron Boyce is likely their number one bowling or spin bowling option going into the new season. There's also Ben Menenti, and then you get probably some part-time spin as well from guys like Matt Short and Darcy Short. In further news, the Melbourne Stars, having uh, they tried to take Adil Rashid by bidding on him in the, uh, in the draft, and of course, the strikers were able to use their retention pick to retain him. Then they took Harry Brooks, and and uh, it turns out Harry Brooks has pulled out of the tournament, like I said yesterday, because of uh, too much workload. He's playing too much cricket, I presume. So they've replaced him with, uh, I guess, a bowling all-rounder in English left-arm spinner Liam Dawson. Obviously, a lot of cricketers from England taking part in this year's Big Bash League. Uh, but he bats at about nine. His T20 average is actually solid with 18 and goes at a strike rate of 116. And he's just coming off a tournament in England, the 100, where he took eight wickets at an average of 26. So fairly modest uh, return there. Also on the subject of the Melbourne Stars, uh, they obviously drafted Harris Ralph from Pakistan uh, going into BBL 13, and it was suggested that he would have full availability because he's actually opted out of Pakistan's test series. However, I believe this has got to be subject to having a no objection certificate from the Pakistani cricket board. And uh, to put it simply, I think they're a bit pissed. So I believe he's opted out of the test series for Pakistan, which I understand is his right. So they can't make him play in that tournament. But Pakistan's National T20 Cup actually runs until December 10th, which is three days after this tournament starts. And authorities apparently could force Ralph to play in that entire tournament because, like I said, they're pissed. In other short and sharp team news, we got Mitch Stark, who has ruled out a cameo. So it's kind of non-news here. But I did see that, you know, we have seen news where Steve Smith's going to play a game uh, for the City Sixers in this year's BBL. And it's also been reported that Usman Khawaja and Manus Labashain will be available for the Brisbane Heat's first game, although that might be the only game that they play. Stark, by contrast, wants to focus on test cricket, so we won't see Mitch Stark this tournament. And finally, while we're talking about the BBL, this is not team news, but I did see an interesting prediction from Michael Hussey, who predicts Aaron Hardy to be the player of the tournament in BBL 13. So last year, he actually topped the league in terms of runs scored. He did play an extra game, having played in the final, but he scored 460 runs last year. Average was 41.81 and his strike rate was 141. So that's a real breakout performance there from Aaron Hardy. And with the ball, he was solid. He took five wickets. I think his average ended up being 22. And his strike rate, uh, which is how many balls in between wickets that you take, is 17. So damn good all-round numbers there for Aaron Hardy. And the more I looked into it, the more I realized why Hussey is banking on him having a big tournament. He's also got a really good first-class record, averaging 43 with the bat and 27 with the ball. So Mark Hussey predicts not only that Aaron Hardy will be the player of the tournament this year, but that he will be a long-term star of Australian cricket, which, you know, I hope he's right as a Perth fan and an Australia fan. 
But anyway, guys, that is just my bite-sized update on the BBL squads as we get closer and closer. I'm thinking of doing some season preview content for each team. Uh, it would help me also kind of acclimatize as well, get my head back in the game for cricket because obviously it's been footy, footy, footy since. So appreciate you watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.